Hey guys, it's Fusion Timmy here, and welcome back to Dragon Block C. I once did a series on this where I was an evil Super Saiyan. Unfortunately, the files got corrupted for that world, and we had to start fresh. It has been a year since I've even uploaded a Dragon Ball Minecraft video, and I figured it's time to come back and return. And I had the perfect idea of how I was going to do that. I'm going to be doing 100 days as Frieza, and unlocking my black form. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I can hardly take this video seriously. W what even is this? I'm gonna be spending a hundred days as Frieza and unlocking all of my new forms. There's a ton of forms for the Acrosian race inside of Dragon Block C, and we're trying to base this off of Frieza Black, the new form that was announced in Dragon Ball Super. Now to spice this up, I thought I would do something a little bit different than other playthroughs, and I've decided to add the minion mod. Now what this allows me to do is I can actually control my own army of people to build and mine for me. So, this playthrough is going to be very, very different, and it's centered around me being the Emperor Lord Frieza. This is not going to be like any other playthrough you've seen so far. This is going to be something totally new, totally different, and fresh, and that is what I'm aiming to do with this video. So, let's get into this long journey, because we have a long video ahead of us. A hundred days as Frieza in modded Minecraft. Alright, so with it being day one, I suppose we should try and just get everything set up. If I access my menu, I can see that there's a story mode here. We got a character sheet where I can put in my different stats. I have skills I can unlock. Currently, I only have transformations, but that's a pretty hefty amount of mine and TP I need. We'll see about getting that later. We got techniques that we can create, some training. Shadow dummy training is a huge part of this. I remember this. Uh, we'll get into that later, which I know how to do some really good shadow dummy training, and it's by going to the hyperbolic time chamber, because you get weighted clothes, you can get weighted weight to the ground, and you can do shadow dummy training, and it gives you more TP. Uh, we also got the saga system, which is, like I said, the story, and groups, but currently, we're not going to have any groups, sadly, uh, but there's a lot of stuff to get into, and we happen to be by Kame's lookout, which is where we're probably going to head first, but I don't think we'll be able to make it there for a couple of days. Right now, though, we should just go try out our new power. We're pretty strong because we start off in our base form, but I believe for Acrosians, their base form is actually their strongest form. Fun fact, if you didn't know, uh, Frieza, he goes down to those the first, second, and third form to actually hold back his power. So when you first see him in the series, his first form is him holding back his power. As he powers up, that's just him going back to his normal form. Because Acrosians are actually so strong in their base form that it can affect others around them, and it's kind of a pain to do. So instead, they have to make other forms to kind of suppress that power. But right now, we're starting to decide of our base form, our final form, if you will. And we're pretty busted. At least that's how I believe it should be in Minecraft terms. I know that's at least how it is in the actual story, but if it'll be like this in Minecraft, I'm not sure. Okay, uh, I guess to actually get up our... Wait, we've already gained TP? We've already leveled up once. Okay, so we got five... <laughs> we got six TP just from one level. That's pretty crazy. Um, so we can put it into strength, which is what we chose. We chose a warrior build, which means we're actually a lot better when it comes to fighting. I had to create my character, and when I created my character, I chose to be a warrior because I felt like it was just going to be the best for us as Frieza. And we're going to have a lot of fighting, and I feel like having that raw damage output is really going to do us well. So even though I have 6 TP, I'm going to have to level up a few more times before I get 16 TP, which allows me to level up a stat. Understood. Time to just commit mass murder, you know? kind of where is this i have no idea what this is i've never seen this before all right so a lot of you guys are probably thinking where's your minions at well first i have to actually reach level eight on my hotbar if i get eight experience points i'm able to summon a master staff which allows me to control minions and they'll chop down trees for me unfortunately i'm not quite there yet and i want to see what this ore is so i'm going to go ahead and cut down some wood and see what this kind of ore is what is this a war knight crystal so what can a War Knight Crystal create? Oh, it makes battle armor. I forgot about that. And I can make a space pod, which I believe one is given to you through a mission anyway, so I don't think I have to. But it also does a dragon radar. It does fabrics, which I guess must be used for something. Scouters, which will tell me the power levels of different players or enemies. Okay, I get it. I get it. So we definitely got to get these. I bet I'll be able to get a lot of these once I get my minions, because I can get them to make an entire tunnel down to the like bedrock literally and they do it pretty quickly and it should give me a lot of those types of crystals so i'll probably be pretty rich in those so is that a dragon ball 
Look at the Dragon Ball! Oh, that is a great day one start. I don't even care. Look, it said literal Dragon Ball. And I got it. I, if I get seven of these, I can actually summon Shinron, which, uh, if I go to the evil side, I don't know how Shinron's gonna react to that, but you know what? Uh, I don't care. Shinron, grant my wish, or else, uh, I don't know, I'll kill you or something. I don't know. How strong is Shinron anyway? Okay, I've already got enough. Literally just from killing, like, 10 to 12 mobs, I already got enough TP to do one of my first levels. Let's go strength. You know what? We just need more strength. We're just gonna be brute force all the way for a little bit, because I just want to be absolutely busted. Wow. Sorry, day two? That's, that's literally crazy. Well, we should have minions by the end of today. What is that? Is that making a bazooka? Ain't no way. This dude has a bazooka. All right, I'm level eight. That was actually pretty easy, not gonna lie. Okay, so I cut this part out, but basically all you have to do is go through a bunch of different options. Just really, they don't amount to anything, but you basically do some evil choices and it gives you a master staff. They're all pretty goofy, but it was just too long for me to put them in this video. However, now we have the master staff. And what I can do is I can right click and I have a minion. But not just one minion, two minions, but not just two minions, three minions, but not just three minions, four minions. And now they can do my bidding for me. So what I'm gonna show you guys is we're gonna go to an area where I think it'd be kind of funny to just mine, all right? It also uses a ton of hunger. I just wanna say that. As you can see, my food bar was drained so quickly. Okay, this looks like a pretty good spot. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to tell them I uh, dig mine shaft. Oh boy, okay. I've done it. Go, my minions. Attack. This is actually pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. Get it, boys. Look, they're making a staircase for me and everything. That's all I got to do. And there's no durability for this. So they're going to be getting me tons of stuff. They even give me their loot once they're done. So I'm going to let my minions do that. And while they do that, I think it's time I pay good old Kami and Korin a visit. So I can get up this. But how am I supposed to actually get up to the lookout if I can't fly? Wait. I can maybe get a Nimbus. Am I pure of heart currently? I won't always be pure of heart, but I'm... Yeah, currently I'm good. Good enough to get the Nimbus, most likely. All right, we're gonna climb up here. Hey, oh, what's good, Corin? Hi there, I'm glad to see you here. Once a day, I can give you a Sensu Bean, if you need any. So I get a flying Nimbus, which I can get a dark one eventually if I need, but just having a normal Nimbus will do for now. I uh, will ask for a Sensu Bean, which is just good for, like, for fighting. Learn skills, and this is where we can learn to fly. I feel like this should be our first thing. So we need 20 mind, and then we need 60 TP to be able to fly. That sounds like a pretty fair offer, my man. So to get mind, I actually have to increase this, which is going to take a bit. But as you can see, I now have 6 mind. I'm going to have to take a couple days to probably grind with some shadow dummies, which means I need to get to the hyperbolic time chamber, which I was already talking about. So we can go ahead and get our Nimbus right here. And look, Black Freeze are riding a good Nimbus. This sounds very, very wrong. <laughs> but anyways, point is, we're gonna go hit space and we're just gonna make our way up to Kami's looking. There's actually quite a few NPCs up here that we'll be introduced to. And they can teach us different skills and stuff from what I can remember. Like there's Whis down there, but you didn't expect to see him. We got Whis. We got Kame over here. We are so glad to see you alive. Please, if you want to know anything, just ask. I can teach you a few things. And he can actually give you weights that make the training even better for you. But you don't want to do too much at the start because it'll actually just make it worse for you. Now we have Piccolo. Mm, there's potential in you. Let's see. Which I'll get to, I'm going to get a weight from him. Uh, I'm going to do 10. I feel like 10 is a good weight here. He can teach me different techniques, but I don't need these exactly right now. Fly, potential unlock, meditation, key sense. These are actually real useful skills that I'm going to need to learn. Although I don't know if he's going to teach me once I'm evil side. We'll see. Okay, so we got Trunks over here. Hey there, I see you need some training. You have to do better if you want to fight with me. Okay, uh, I'm nowhere near your power level, dude. I'm not even going to lie. We got Vegeta. You have some nerves to talk to me. I don't mind, but get lost fast. You're in the way. Okay, then. Uh, I wasn't planning on talking to you anyways. <laughs> Screw you, Vegeta. Jeez. Okay, now we can just put this here. Oh, wait, no, it goes... Where, where does this go, actually? Ah, oh, it goes in the weight slot. Yeah, that would make a lot of sense. All right, time to begin the training. Oh, I, I can't even move. I'm stuck. Okay, maybe I should take off the weight until I actually get to a good spot. Okay, the idea is I'm going to get to this corner where he won't, he won't be able to actually push me all around the room. I'll be stuck in this corner, and he'll come at me so I can hit him repeatedly. That's what I used to do back in the old series. All right, now that I'm here, let's go ahead and put that weight back on. And then let's hit L. 
Let's go to training. Shadow dummy training. Oh my gosh, this is close. No, 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 no. Five HP. I don't want to use my sensu bean. Please, please, please. Please, let's go! I did it. Okay. Now, I barely survived that, but 266 TP! That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Now let's put all of that into mine until we reach level 20. Oh, okay. This is going to take a bit. So first, I got to get my mine to level 20, but then I also need to put up some TP. This is going to take a while. Okay. I was in there for days. What I'm going to say, that training paid off because a lot happened. You ready to see how much I actually gained from all that? Look, I'm bloodied up from how bad that training was. But it all paid off, because if you were to look at my training points, I've gained 1,900 training points, and I've also got 20 mined. It took a bit, and I had to use a Sensu Bean, but it all paid off, because in the end, I am stacked on training points now, and I'm only level four. It's pretty crazy. I forget how much TP gain is, is in this, and also I think mine gives you more TP gain. Yeah, it does. So that's another reason why. Uh, however, now we can actually learn how to fly, which was what I was talking about earlier. We need to learn how to fly. Kami, can you teach us how to fly? Yes, you can. I can now press F to fly. Oh boy, look at me go, look at me go. Okay, looks a little derpy, but you know what? It is what it is. Why do I fly so slow? Maybe I gotta upgrade it more, that's probably why. So now let's get back to the ground. Can I learn any other skills? Potential unlock, endurance, medication, key sense. We're gonna do potential unlock. There's no mine left. Wait, does it use up all of my mine? Is that what it does? Available my oh, okay, I see now. Well, let me just, <clears throat> yeah, you know, just stack that up a bit. All right, so I'm gonna need a lot more training points before I'm able to do my transformations. But now I should be able to unlock potential unlock, right? I need 20, okay. Uh, well, how much do I actually have then? Let's see, I have 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So that puts me up to 40 mine, which my TP gain is gonna be crazy now. Potential unlock. Now, how does potential unlock work? What does it actually do? Does it make, wait, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, okay, if you look at the top left, my bar went from 50% to 55%. So I actually do more damage now because I'm able to use a higher percentage of my key. Now let's actually go down the corn and see if we can get another sensu beam. And then let's go check out our minions progress because it's been days. Hello, Corrin. What's good, man? Okay, ask for a sensu bean. Yes. All right, now that I know how to fly, that actually unlocks a lot of opportunities for us. So, where are my minions? Ah, there's where they were. Okay, time to see what the minions have actually accomplished so far. Uh-huh. 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 Oh, my God. Okay, they might actually be full inventories now. You know what? I don't think we take fall damage. Nope. Oh, my gosh. They're still going at it. Good work, guys. That's great. Whoa, 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 whoa. Put the gun down. Put the gun down, sir. Ah! Oh my god! I meant I meant to do that. I meant to do that. It's okay because I forget I'm like super powerful and it doesn't do much damage to me. But that scared the crap out of me. So now what we can do is we can actually put down a chest and they should be able to drop the items into the chest. So I'm gonna go get a chest real quick. Ah yes, the best part about flying. I can actually fly up to mine the trees. Although it is very slow. Hey, whoa, 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 buddy. Okay. It's gonna be like that can be a good way for me to get some TP. No, oh, stop! He has such long range. Okay, that, that wasn't so bad. Not gonna lie. Okay, now that we've made a chest, we can place this here. And if I'm not mistaken... Woo! Wait. Put it in the chest, my gentleman. Okay, that's not putting in the chest! That's not putting in the... You know what? Good enough. I'm still proud of you guys. I'm still proud of you guys. I might be a very cruel emperor, but you know, I I I, I appreciate the work of you guys. You know, making my life a lot easier. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you. That's so nice. Okay, seems like I've gotten all the stuff from them. They haven't got any like crystals yet, but they have got a lot of cobble, which will come in handle uh, handy later on in the future. <clears throat> Minions, work a little faster, please. That's what I that's what I thought, man. That's what I thought. I get to work. Oh, and Jerry. I didn't forget what you did last week. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can actually tackle the first mission. So we're gonna go to Saga System, Emperor Pilaf Saga. This is an alternative story based on the Dragon Ball universe. So while it might resemble parts of the original story, it is completely different because this is your story. You feel an unpleasant energy. Are you ready for this? Okay. Uh, yes, I am. Bulma and the Dragon Balls. You've met Bulma, a young girl who is looking to gather all the Dragon Balls. She has a radar which points you towards the sea. Explore the ocean until you find someone who has one. 
Talk to Mu and Rush Roshi. Okay. So what you're telling me is I have to find Master Roshi, who's apparently near the ocean. Okay, that's going to take me a bit because that could be like anywhere. However, I do have one advantage, and that is that I have a mini-map. So if I was to enlarge my mini-map here, uh, I could kind of see some stuff that's in the area. And I don't happen to see the ocean anywhere nearby, so it's going to take me a bit. But time to start exploring. So we'll go ahead and set a waypoint here so we don't lose our minions. We're going to call this mine. All right, and now we can find our way back home. Uh, who knows how, this, how long this is going to take me, but I have to go look for Master Roshi. Wait a minute, at the top right of the mini-map, do you guys see that? There's a dinosaur biome to the top right of the map. That could be very useful because dinosaurs drop really good food that can heal you up pretty quickly. Hey, wait a second, what's that at the top right? Is that... is that a tournament or something? What is that? We have to go investigate that. But first, I think we should take care of this dinosaur real quick who's been giving me a dirty look, man. Oh, snap. Okay, he has hands. Dinosaur has hands, but not enough because I'm literally Frieza, bro. I mean, what do you expect? I'll be taking that. Whoa, is this Goku's house? Bro, I found Go Goku is not going to like me. That's Teen Gohan. So I found Goku's house. What's good, Goku? Hey there, I see you need some training. You have to do better if you want to fight me. Uh, okay, yeah, you, you pretty much said the exact same thing as everybody else. Uh, welcome to the club, Goku. Alright, so we got Gohan. Hey there, I see you need some training! You have to do better if you want to fight me! Okay, yeah, you said the same thing as the other guys. However, he does teach some pretty good moves here. I could really use a Kamehameha, you know what I'm saying? Goku, I'm not gonna lie, your house is kind of lame. There's, like, uh, the issue of, like, literally nothing being inside it. There's quite literally nothing in here. Like, what is this supposed to be? <gasps> the ocean! Wait, maybe I'll get lucky and I'll be able to actually see Master Roshi. There's a sand temple over there. I don't know how much it'll be useful for me as Frieza, but might as well go check it out. Boink. I can just uh, kind of fly up, you know. Makes this uh, pretty easy, actually. Got some iron. So Ooh, diamonds. Okay. Some more iron. Gold. More. Okay. That is actually like the best temple I've ever had. The fact that it had that many diamonds. Unfortunately, though, it's the Dragon Block C mod, so it's not all that useful. Okay, I found them. Guys, I found him! It took me days, but I actually found him. There's the Kame House! Okay, it took me forever to find this, but I've officially found it, and I wanted to record the moment I found it. I figured using the Nimbus would be better than using my key, so I've just been flying around in my Nimbus for a good ways now. Alright, we can officially start this quest. Yep, uh, there he is. Why is the random sugar cane out here, dude? What have you been doing? Hello! Thank you for finding my turtle! Here, use this present as you please. I will teach you if you bring me some... <laughs> I'm done. Get this man out of here. Okay. So, I'm at Kame's... Oh, okay. Here we go. You've met Bulma, a young girl. Blah, blah, blah. We've already got this. Explore the ocean until you find someone who has one. We just did that. So, we're over here. What they were talking about was talking to Master Roshi. Since we found him, now we can do to protect for myself or for the sake of evil. For the sake of evil. Now we have the Dark Flying Nimbus. Yamcha appears out of nowhere and attacks you. Defeat him. Be in Dimension Overworld completed. Kill Yamcha. Okay, so we're about to have to fight Yamcha, guys. This is going to be like our first major battle here. I'm, I don't know if we're going to survive. It is Yamcha after all, guys. We got to watch out. All right, let's fight this dude. Let's go, Yamcha. Okay. Oh, okay, nah, you're easy, bro. You got a, you got quite the punch, but you just got no HP. This is easy. <laughs> what? That's right, Yamcha. That's right. That just happened. So what's next? Uh, Yamcha appears on, okay, yep, uh, for the sake of evil. All right, after traveling for some time, you spot three people who are interested in stealing Dragon Balls from others. Defeat them. Okay, so I have to fight three of these guys now. Okay, I think I'm ready. Let's go ahead and give this a shot. Oh boy, hello. Oh, you guys are weak. Please, please. What is that supposed to be? Please, okay. Who's next? Let's do another. <laughs> for the sake of evil. Can I go ahead and... Oh, I got a lot of TP now. Alignment neutral. That's right. We're going to that dark side bit by bit, you know? Uh, I guess... Increases maximum key power. That's probably good for us. And then we'll do another strength. All right. Looking pretty good. So let's continue. So I have to kill the mecha versions. Okay. 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 I wasn't ready for this. I wasn't ready for this. Sorry. I got one. I got one. I got one. If I fly up, they can't hit me as easy. Okay. There's one more left. Oh, he got that range. I win! I'm a zero HP. I killed them. But, uh... 
But at a cost, you know, I, I killed them, but at a cost. It, it appears that I also died, and now I happen to be in the other world. Yeah, it shouldn't have underestimated me at those giant mecha robots. Aw, oh, man. Well, I guess we better start our journey on Snake Way. I don't see anything uh, better to do here. Or we could just go and respawn, but uh, I think it takes a while before I'm able to respawn, right? Well, I can respawn pretty quick. Uh, yeah, you know, it's nothing too bad. Or I could reincarnate. But, Snake Way, you know what I mean? Snake Way, it is kind of tempting. I say we go ahead and go through Snake Actually, wait. I don't have any training points. Why would I go on Snake Way? That would be pointless. No, let's just go back. Screw Snake Way, bro. Let's just go back. And now we got to get back to where we died, which I have a rough idea of where that is, but man, it's going to take a while for me to get there. Okay, there's the island. I just have to reach it. It took way too long to get over here, man. I have got to get more key and master my flying because my flying is so slow. Note to self, next time you die, die in your spawn. All right, let's like get all of our stuff back. So back to the mission. For the sake of evil. All of their mechs combined into one. Being to mention Overwell. Oh boy, I think it's time we have another training arc. And at least go check on our minions before we do all that. Especially, instead of dying all the way over here, you know? You know what? Before I head back to base, I should probably go ahead and grind up a lot of food. There's a lot of dinosaurs here, and if I collect a lot of dinosaur meat, I'll not only gain TP, I'll have an easier time when I'm in the time chamber because I'll be able to heal myself. So let's spend a couple days grinding. Okay, so now we finally made it back to the base and I have gained seven dinosaur meat, which I think is a pretty good amount. On top of that, I've got a pretty good amount of TP. It's not a lot though, because what you get in the overworld compared to what you get in the time chamber is like nothing. However, I did still get 557 TP, which is pretty good. And now I want to go check on our minions who have been down here for days, man. Have they not made much? Oh no, the chest stopped them. The chest stopped you guys, didn't it? I should have known. Maybe if I move the chest, though, they'll actually... It appears I've glitched the minions somehow to where they can't dig any deeper. But I think they've dug quite enough, so maybe we'll get them to do something else. You know, for an emperor, it's kind of weird not having a home. I feel like I should do something about that. Maybe I can do it on the planet Namek. We'll see. For now, let's just go and do some training. Never mind. You should go now. You're not welcome here. <laughs> Dang it, man. I wanted to... Uh, bruh. I should have expected that. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, well, we don't need any more. We got dinosaur meat. That'll do. All right, so perhaps we should go for our first form. Since we get thousands of TP so easy, maybe if I do a lot of training, I'll be able to actually unlock whatever this transformation is going to give me. I'm curious of what this is. You know what? That's what we're going to go for. We're going to get 20 mine and then 4,000 TP. And I'm going to come back to you guys whenever I've unlocked the amount that I need to do this. After lots and lots of training, I've finally, finally gotten enough to not only do my form, but to probably unlock a move. So, it's taken a lot of time, and I was just listening to music off camera, and I was like, you know what, just gonna grind. Uh, it took a couple tries, but you know what, I got it done. And now, as you can see, I've got enough mind to actually unlock my transformation, as well as more than enough TP. So we're gonna go ahead and unlock this. And now it has done a transformation level one. Now I'm interested, what does this do? So if I hold G, if, if, if I hold G, Okay, so what I gather from this is this is a racial skill, but to be able to actually use more transformations, I have to have 100% energy release. And currently, I don't know if you've noticed, but uh, let's just say I don't have nearly that much. I only have 55%. I need 100%, which what that means is I have to go to my potential unlock, and I have to level this up a ton. And uh, I need 20 mind. Just, that is a lot of TP right there. I'm going to have to unlock my potential a ton to be able to actually use that form. So this is going to be a lot of training, but that's okay. You know what we're going to do? We're going to go ahead and just start working towards that because I want to get my next form as soon as possible. Uh, we're just going to go and put more into mind. I think I'm doing this correctly. We need 20 mind, so we're going to go to 80. I don't think we'll be able to reach it. Uh, no, we're not going to be able to quite reach it, but pretty soon I'll be able to unlock another potential unlock. I'm going to have to do this throughout the days, and that's going to be my main goal, because I want to be able to get my potential unleashed to 100, so I can actually not only use 100% of my power, but also so I can actually do my transformations, because that is just, that's kind of an essential in a series like this, you know? But uh, now I think we should continue the story a bit, because I think I've gotten to a point of where I can. But maybe before I do that, I should go create a weapon, if possible. We could really use a base, but uh, I'm waiting until we get to Namek probably to make a base because I just feel like it just, it fits an emperor like me much more than Earth. So now if I was to look up sword, 
I should be able to see different swords I can make. What the heck is a dimension sword? The Z-sword, of course. How do I use the Z-sword? Okay, I need a Z-sword hilt, which is made through leather. Katrin's shard, which I think I have to get from, like, very rare deposits. I don't think I'll be able to make that. But what about a brave sword? No, I need more shards. Okay, there's got to be something I can make. Z-sword blade. <laughs> They're everywhere. Small club. Janimba essence. Janimba's in the game? Oh my gosh, okay. You know what? We should just make a diamond sword. I feel like that's the best thing we could do here. Frieza with a diamond sword. That sounds awesome. Sounds pretty basic, but you know what? I just did the wrong recipe. But you know what? I'm not even gonna... I'm not gonna talk about that. So I have a diamond sword now. Um, what else could I do? I guess I could put some armor on. Let's see what the battle armor can do. So that's the die. What's just some plain armor? So we just need these war and eye crystals. Okay. Well, we have 13 of those. So we can go ahead and make a chest plate. Which I believe I can still wear. Yes, I can. Uh, we could... I've got to get more of this. You know what? I'm going to go find some more Night Crystal. I'm going to go find some. That way I can actually get me a full set of armor. And then we can go to Namek. Well, I guess we're not even close to Namek. What am I talking about? Well, we can do a lot of fighting and probably get to Namek. Because I think with the power level I'm at right now, we should be able to do a lot of the story. So I'm going to go find some crystals. Also, while I'm on the lookout for some crystals, I could be on the lookout for some Dragon Balls. Because having Shinron would be pretty good. Because he can give me those shards that I need to make swords. I'm pretty sure. I think a pretty good method to go ahead and start getting some crystals would be get to get my minions making another mine. It may not sound that efficient, but it's actually one of the best ways for me to get crystals right now because they mine a huge area. I can make it so big. Okay, so now I can do dig mine shaft. And you know what? I should do dig. I'm just going to max this bad boy out. Look at that width. You know, I don't think we need that much width. I think we can go with like 10 blocks. It's more of the height that matters, you know? It's more of the height that matters. There we go, my minions. Get to work. And when I come back, you guys better have a lot of crystals for me. Okay, I can see some crystals over there. I think the best way to get some crystals is literally just go to these, like, open stone biomes where they spawn on top. Because that's going to be an easy way for me to just get tons of these crystals fast. I think we already have enough crystals. I think we are already pretty set. But the next thing we need is food. Because as you can see, I'm kind of lacking food right now. And if I'm going to be fighting all of these different types of monsters, it's probably good for me to get some dinosaur meat. So I suppose I should go do that as well. Okay, guys. Uh, I've officially just, just did a lot of grinding. Uh, it took forever, but you know, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. I realized you can do a lot more damage with the sword than I thought you could. It basically tripled my damage output, so it made things a lot quicker. Not only that, I managed to get a big cooked dinosaur meat. <laughs> Look at how much it... Uh, 1,500 calories. That's insane, bro. But it's really good because it's from a T-Rex. And then I got some normal dinosaur meat, which uh, I got seven of those. So I think I'm pretty good. Uh, and also with that, I did a lot of TP. So with my training points now, I've already upgraded my mind to where it needs to be. It literally was like one point off. And then now I can potential unlock again. Now I wonder how much it actually gives me now that I've upgraded it. Just 60. Okay, so it is going to take me quite a bit to get to 100%. But I think if I was to go do some shadow dummy training and I was to purely focus on getting mined and getting my potential unlock, I don't think it would take that long. Uh, okay. I guess I've never done that before. All right, thanks, dude. Uh, you must be done, right? I'm guessing you guys must be done down there. I guess we should check on the minions in a minute. But uh, the next thing is we have to make our finished armor. So we got the bow armor leggings and then the boots. So now we have more armor, more protection, uh, food for healing. Hello, Mr. Cal. <laughs> what are you doing, bro? Look at my XP right now. I don't know how useful that'll be in the future, but maybe we can get some enchantments on stuff. Like if we get the uh, trunk sword. What are you guys doing down here? Oh, wait, no, this is the original. They're not at the original. They're at the new one. So I wonder what the new one actually looks like. Okay, uh, here it is. Should be over here. Should be... A little bit bigger. That's basically the exact same. Where'd my minions go? <laughs> Where did my minions go, bro? They just, they just ditched. You guys are some crappy minions, dude. Ah! Why are you guys just suddenly coming out of nowhere? You know what? Bro, give me what you got. What, what stuff you got? I know you got some. That's what I thought. Bro, had a diamond? Oh, that, see, I told you they would get crystals. Ooh, okay, we got some good loot here today, boys. Alright, it appears to be raining. The mood is set. 
it just randomly started raining and that's perfect because we're about to go do a battle and i think it's time to take this very serious all of the mechs combined into one all right here we go let's do this oh you're easy bro get this out of my face look at that tournament announcement roshi mentions that a tournament was announced and he suggests that you should enter you and many other fighters have managed to enter the finals of the tournament defeat your first opponent kill bacteria bro get out of my way creeper all right let's do it oh hello sir ah uh, you're not that scary you're not that scary at all kill yamsha i already killed yamsha we gotta do this again you want to run it back okay he's actually doing quite a bit of damage so i'm gonna go and heal up Okay, he's not that damaging. It's just I fought three people in a row now. Okay, I guess I have a lot to learn. Yeah, you do. Don't fight me. Final match. You versus Jackie Chun. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, this guy's actually supposed to be tough. I will not die today. Not to you, sir. Bro, why are you dodging and weaving like that? Okay. Uh, all right kill jackie chun wait he has, he's even stronger now okay let me make sure i'm healed ah eh, good enough i suppose we can go and eat this raw beef okay that should be good now let's fight oh he's gotten buff okay let's back off okay he does a lot more damage than the others but not enough <laughs> not bad yeah you're telling me i literally just killed you two times in a row after you've won the tournament, the Red Ribbon Army had started to make their move. They are interested in gathering the Dragon Balls. Be sure to look out for them, okay? Meaning with the army, you have ran to the Red Ribbon's army territory and got attacked by their men. Kill Colonel Silver. All right. Bring it, dude. Well, oh, you're easy. Get destroyed. Giant person comes out to face you. Be prepared. Kill Major Metalvertron. Okay. I mean, he might be big, but he's weak. I've seen these guys out in the open world. All right, for the sake of evil. How evil am I now? You're a 0% good. Um, that tells me how evil I am. I am 100% evil. I am on the complete evil side of the spectrum. Well, I don't really care because those Dragon Balls are mine now. And uh, I'm gonna have to take them. Yep, you're dead. The defense Android has been released with the intention of taking you out. Android 8. Unless it's 18, I don't have any problems. Unless it's 17 or 18, it's not gonna be much of a problem, bro. You're not even 16. Let's hope that it is friendly. Kill Boyund. Oh, I better heal. Bro, he's big. Look at his HP bar. This man ain't playing. Okay, okay. Back off again. These are starting to get a little harder, and I'm starting to run out of food. But we got it. We finished him off. A general tried to catch you off guard. Kill General White. I am not going to eat my food. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. They're dropping dragon blocks, so I can actually collect these up and summon Shinron. I'm three in right now. Okay. Let's keep going, then. I mean, if I die, it's no big deal. I can just retry. Okay, I'm gonna heal up. I might as well go and use my meat. Bring it on, bro. Okay, he does more damage. He got me. He got me. And I forgot it. It sends me to the other world. But wait. Now that I'm in the other world... I actually have training points. However, I don't have any mind, so I don't know if it's really worth it. Uh, I should probably just wait and come here when I actually have more saved up. That's probably a good idea. Well, back to the other world. All right, I've officially made it back. Oh, okay, hello. Hello, sir. All right, I've officially made it back. I've gotten my armor back, gotten my weapon back, and I think I can go ahead and do this quest. I really need to get to Namek as soon as possible because there's actual lots of dinosaur meat there that I can use for myself. And until I get that, I'm going to have a lot of food problems. Okay, let's give this another shot. Might as well. General Blue, time to die. I got to be brutal on him. No, he's going to kill me. He's going to kill me again. No, 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 no. I'm dead. And there's a Dragon Ball right there. <laughs> okay, so clearly I've reached a point where I'm just not strong enough to defeat this boss. No matter how fast I want to get to Namek, I just can't seem to kill this boss because he kills me too fast. Which means it's time for another training arc. So, it's time to go train the Hyperbolic Time Chamber and possibly unlock my new form. As well as getting some more health because my health is pretty low in the grand scheme of things. Okay guys, I just got kicked out of the Hyperbolic Time Chamber only to realize something that... I, I feel very dumb for not knowing. So, first off, as you might have noticed, I've completely 
mastered potential unlock. I have 100% of my key release at the top left, as you can see, 100%, which is still really great because it means I can use 100% of my power, making me a lot stronger. The problem is, actually, to use my forms, all I need to do is upgrade my transformations. That's all I had to keep doing. I probably could have already had max transformations by now. <laughs> the problem is, um, now I got kicked out of the time chamber and I have to wait like 20 minutes, I believe. So I'll come back later on, maybe day 60, day 70, and I'm probably going to get a lot of transformations. But for now, I'm kind of stuck with what I got. This is what I'm looking at right here. Pretty decent stats right here. Most of it was mine because I had to do that to unlock potential unlock. But I'd say I'm probably more than enough to take out that one guy I have to fight. I have more HP now, and if I go get my weapon and stuff, I'll be doing some crazy damage. I have 100% of my potential unleashed, you know what I mean? And look how faster I am. Oh my gosh, just took off that weight, and I'm so much faster. Uh, I thought that would have despawned by now. That's a, that's a 5 weight. Anyways, we're going to go back to where we lost our stuff, and then we're going to go fight the boss. Oh, it feels good to get that back. It feels so good to get all that back. Unfortunately, I lost a lot of HP. But you know what? We got it. And also, there's a Dragon Ball right there, which is awful convenient because now we almost have seven Dragon Balls. We're four out of seven, which is pretty good numbers if I'm being honest. All right, so let's do this. Oh, yeah, look at that damage. 63. No, 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 no. Let's go. I died, but I killed him. I don't even care. That counts to me. I would have been a lot stronger by now if I didn't do all of that on Potential Unleash. But you know what? It'll pay off in the long run, so I'm not going to complain. Uh, fact is, though, we did it. We defeated him. But now we have to get back to the overworld, unfortunately. Okay, now, let's actually continue this. For the sake of evil, Red Ribbon Saga, kill Mercenary Tau. We're very close to the end of this. And then we can get to the Dragon Ball Z stuff, which means I get closer to dynamic. Hello, dude. Let's see if we can take this guy on. Grow does an instant, like, 200 damage on spawn. This is going to be a problem. This is going to be a major problem if I don't start bringing food. Can I kill him without having to go get food? So where is Mercenary Tal? There he is. Alright. Wait, that's not him. Where is he? Ah, oh, there he is. Bro has those hops. Look at him. I can't hit him. Bro, I can't hit him. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, that didn't go so well. Okay. It's been a bit, but I finally have enough food to continue training. I tied a few times in the process. It's been rough. I'm not gonna lie. This has been the roughest part so far. The start was pretty quick, but getting up to this has not been easy. Now, as you can see, I got a bit more health now. I got some food. I think we can conquer this even if we're weaker. As long as we have some food. Okay, he is still really strong. He does like 300 damage the moment he spawns, and that's the main problem. Okay, I got him. Mercenary Tile's down. But we're just getting started. I have got to get back into the Hyperblock Time Chamber soon. That way I can actually unlock more forms. I got to get me some forms. The Red Ribbon Army must be taken out as soon as possible. They are too much of a threat to the world. So we're about to have to fight a lot of guys. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, at least I one-shot them, basically. Get absolutely destroyed. Who's next? Come on, dude. I don't want to waste too much food because this stuff is hard to get. You know how many dinosaurs I have to farm? This isn't like Namek where there's a ton of di dinosaurs. Did I just kill them all? Yes, I did. So you guys are just going to start doing explosion damage every time you spawn, huh? Alright, I'll have to keep that noted. And dead. What? No! Yeah, that just happened, bro. Alright, after the defeat of the Red Ribbon Army, another world tournament was announced. Be sure to gather the Dragon Balls and train beforehand. In order to gain access to Dragon Ball, to a Dragon Ball, you have to defeat Fortune Teller Baba, Baba's fighters, starting with... Kill Fangs, Fangs the Vampire, okay. Bro, y'all gotta stop doing that explosion damage every time you spawn. This is crazy. Okay. Get bodied. He didn't drop a Dragon Ball, unfortunately. 
And none have spawned around here yet, so... Oh, bandages. No! Screw you, bandages. I'm gonna get my vengeance, bro. I'm getting so sick of these guys. I bet I got a lot of TP now, though. From killing all those guys? Oh, yeah, look at that. All right, you guys want to go? All right, we'll go. I'm going to get me some uh, more constitution here, some more strength. Uh, get some more dexterity. Got to get a lot of dexterity. This makes me faster, higher defense, so I don't take quite as much damage. I think we're going to destroy this time. We're going to go back and we're going to immediately fight him. Okay, now that I'm back, let's do this again. Bring it on, bandages. Okay, never mind. You do a lot of damage. Okay, never mind. Goodbye. It's been nice knowing you. Maybe I should get some key moves. Maybe that should be my my next move, bro. Get some key moves so I can do some range attacks. Because right now, uh, I have to get so up close, and I'm not doing enough damage. But they are. Okay, Ben, just chill, dude. You guys thought freaking perfect cell was strong now nah, banjo's the mummy out here being the strongest villain in dragon ball history uh, maybe i don't want to you know maybe i just want to enjoy myself a little bit this is going to be horrible i'm about to get destroyed let's come over here just in case we die it'll be even quicker i'm just trying to speed run these bosses until i run out of food and then the hyperbolic time chamber should be open and i can go train get some transformations and then we should be able to easily handle these guys you know what this will do oh he's not that tough yeah, he's not that tough at all, bro. I think he's weaker than bandages. Yep. Destroyed. Which he did a decent amount of damage. I think I, he was just an easier target to hit for some reason. <laughs> Another one? This guy seems to be a master, master of uh, martial arts. Kill Grandpa Gohan. Okay. I, I can't... Wait. Nah, dude. Why are you so strong? Okay, this guy's probably about to get me. No. No. I got him, but I'm dead. I'm dying. But I beat him. I beat Grandpa Gohan. I don't even care. That's all I need to know. All right, so now I have my TP. I think it's time we do some more training. I know it sucks. Half this video has been me training, but it's about to pay off because it's finally time to get my transformations. If I can get a transformation, my power will skyrocket. Okay, now that I've officially respawned and I finally killed Grandpa Gohan, it gave me another Dragon Ball. It is time for your second tournament. The fires have gathered and it's time to start. Okay. I would love to do that, but I think we need... Never mind, it's Yamcha. <laughs> Never mind, it's Yamcha. I'm just kidding, I'm kidding. I think we need to do some more training. So I'm going to spend a few days training. That way, maybe I can get a transformation or two. It's a lot easier than you would think because the amount of mind I have is giving me a lot more TP gain, which means I should be able to easily get my transformations a little bit and maybe upgrade my strength and constitution. By the time you guys see me in a few days, I'm going to be absolutely cracked. And we're just going to speed through the story. And while I'm at it, I'll probably get a little bit of food. So, I'll see you guys whenever it is. It took me ages. But I've finally accomplished true power. Are you ready to see what I've accomplished in this amount of time? I did a lot. I did a lot, okay? Not too much, but enough to where I've made progress. So if I was at L right now, you're going to see I'm level 75 now. I've got some TP gain because we're about to get us some moves. Not only that, as you can see, I've got a lot of stat points in here. I kind of balanced it out. Uh, I got my transformation up to level 3. And then I attempted to transform, and I haven't been able to do it yet, but I know I have a transformation. I don't know if it's going to be Form 1, Form 2, Form 3, or what. But I have a transformation unlocked because I saw the bar going up. So we're going to do that uh, together. But now I still have some mine left over and I have some training points. So we're going to use that. And like I said, we almost have all 7 Dragon Balls. This is crazy. Uh, it's time to finally see what this form looks like. I hope you guys are ready because I am. So I'm going to hold G. And Oh, wait, no. We got to do like the first. We got to charge up. So we have 100% power release, which you can see at the top left. I'm going to go all the way up to 100, which is from all the hard work of me earlier doing 100%. Look how much more power level I've got now compared to the last time. This is crazy. This is insane. And then guess what? Now we've got a transformation. Please be a good transformation. Please don't be a powered down version. So you can see on the top left, there's like a little yellow icon. We're going to transform. Let's do this. Oh. Oh, we got the cooler form. We got the cooler form. Look at. Oh my god. Look at. That's what 100% of my form looks like. 177,000 power level. 
Oh, I'm about to shred through this story. This is why I made it such a big deal. Well, let's go. And if I was to L, you can actually... Yeah, you can actually see how much it's went up. Look at this. You can see, like, I got a crazy amount of strength, dexterity, willpower. So much, man. I'm about to be able to do so much damage. Now, we need to get some moves. I'm going to stay like this for a bit, to be honest. I feel pretty, pretty strong. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm pretty cracked right now. Oh, but you doesn't like me now. Yeah, I should have I should have expected that. These guys aren't gonna teach me because I'm evil. What about you, Kami? That's what I thought. But uh, you, you know, it, it doesn't really matter. Oh my, what an angry fuck. Oh, okay, so Whis doesn't even want to talk to me. Man, they re they really do not like evil people. You have the same ear. <laughs> you have the same evil aura I had once. I won't say anything bad. Just don't go that way. Yeah, I'm going to. I'll see you later. Uh, I don't think anyone's going to train me right now. So I might have to create my own move. Unless I can find an evil sensei. You know what? I don't think I even need it though because I'm so strong right now. I can probably blitz through the story. So let's do some of the story. Get as far as we can. And then I'm going to find me a sensei that will teach me some moves. Maybe we'll even learn Kaioken. But I'm pretty sure Kaioken you have to be pure of heart. I might be wrong though. We'll figure that out soon. <laughs> oh my god. Uh... They aren't ready for my full power. I don't think they were prepared for this kind of energy. All right, Krillin. I'm, I'm sorry. You're, you're strong? Not strong enough. I could barely keep up. Yeah, you're right. Kill Tian Shinhan. Okay, I better calm down. Calm down. Gotta eat me some food. I can still die if I'm not careful from the explosion damage of when they first spawn in. Uff! Uff! Okay, Tian. Whatever you say, buddy. I bet I'm already getting a lot of- Look at this, man! I'm building up these TP points like it ain't nothing. Okay. So, let's continue. Let's sick of evil. Term is over. Is everyone marked that they saw, uh, Krillin was lying on the ground? He's been taken out by someone. Yup. Tambourine was taking out strong fighters. Alright. Bro, bring it. Bodied. Okay. I got plenty of food to keep this going, too. We're about to get to the Saiyan Saga real quick. King Piccolo Saga. All right, kill symbol. Oh, hi. Bye. <laughs> For the sake of evil. Okay, I'm not even gonna read these anymore. We're just gonna keep speeding through it. Kill King Pickle. Wait a minute. I got all seven Dragon Balls, baby! Okay, so let's do this. I gotta find a proper spot first. Whoa, look at that. I got lightning effects when I run. Oh, that's crazy. It's like Super Saiyan 2. Okay, well, I remember how to summon Shenron, so we're gonna go ahead and do it. All right, we're gonna do... Little eight shape here. All right, Shinron, Eternal Shinron, I summon thee. Personally, I would desire uh, like a lot of views on this video. Like, if I can get a hundred thousand, that'd be pretty solid. No, okay. Uh, <laughs> um. Revive a player, revive and bring here. That's pretty cool. Change aura color, reset accursion ultimate colors. Five Janimba is essence. Ooh. Power pole, small club. That power pole is looking kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. But the Katrin's... Uh, but the Janimba essence... Uh, you know what? We'll get the power pole for now. Sheesh. Look at that. Oh, and I can climb it. <laughs> oh, wait, Frieza, what are we doing here? I don't even know. Okay, so I have the power pole. How much damage does it do? 14 attack. That's like double what I have. Okay, I'll take it. I think that's a worth investment. I think it was a worthwhile investment. I could have done something else, but for now, I think this is a good little thing here. Because I can always get more Dragon Balls in the future. They're pretty easy to come by. But now it's time to continue the bosses. And now I have an even stronger weapon. Bro, it just keeps going. It just keeps going. Okay, bro. You are like a drum. You're built like a drum. I see what you mean. You do a lot of damage. Okay, uh, kill King Piccolo again. That's not... Rumble King Piccolo, I don't believe. Uh... Okay, you're actually pretty strong. My ultimate form is gonna have a little bit of... Problems with you. Wait, I'm even in... Am I even in my ultimate Okay, I am in my ultimate form. Right, good luck, my son. Get revenge. Destroy all of my enemies. Okay, so now he's had a kid. Yay. That was like... When did you get time to do that, bro? We literally just find you suddenly had a kid? Okay. 
Talk to Kami. The world's at peace. That's not how you spell peace, but anyways. We have to go to Kami, apparently. So we're gonna go to Kami. Is that a dra- I literally just found another Dragon Ball right here on the ground. Okay, as I was saying, to Kami we go. Okay, here we are. Took me a bit, but we're finally here. Kami was good, my man, my main man. Hello, are you here to train? All right, let's see what I can teach you. Uh, bro, you didn't even want to talk to me earlier. We don't like your kind, but as I'm the only one who could teach you, I will teach if you want. So apparently endurance makes me take less damage, and if I upgrade it, it can do up to like 30% less damage on attacks from me. Pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. I'm not gonna completely max it out right now because I'm gonna keep my training points, but you know what? Pretty good stuff. Now let's go somewhere where we can fight these guys. It's revenge for what you did to me earlier. Tien again. Yeah, he's gained a lot of power since I last saw him. Awesome, crazy. But did I ask? Okay, okay, you weren't kidding. He has gained a lot of power. Bro, relax. Relax, sit down. Won't pretend I'm not wounded. I won't pretend I'm not wounded, but it's my only pride. The Piccolo we all know and love. Okay, he's actually got quite a lot of strength. No! He can kill me! Oh! I gotta kill him right now. He's the strongest opponent I've faced by far. Oh, I was... I barely made it out of that. I was about to watch myself die. But I took him out. I won. Piccolo's unleashed his full power. He has a mat. Okay. I think it's time we put some stats in here. We gotta put some stats in this bad boy. Let's just build up that constitution a little bit, you know. Get up to about 50. Well, I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. So now we can continue. 100% piccolo. I don't care how big you are. I know you got a giant piccolo form. But it won't do you any good. Never mind. He almost killed me. But it's alright. I got him. Bro said, do you really think you can defeat me? Two seconds later. <laughs> Saiyan Saga, baby! Let's go! We've officially reached the Saiyan Saga. And look at my power level right now in my form. It's looking pretty crazy. I think our next stop should probably be to find an evil master that can give me some evil moves. Possibly the Majin symbol. And then maybe we can go get Kaioken. But let's see if we can actually conquer this first mission, the Cybermen. I don't know if we can or not, but we're going to give it a shot anyways. No shame in if we fail. We failed a lot so far. Okay, I take it back. We are most definitely failing. Oh my god. Maybe not. They do a lot of damage, but... I think I can kill them. Maybe. Put on turbo mode. Kill them bit by bit. I can do this. Alright, time to heal. Oh, I'm doing it. Sheesh. Alright, die. 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 Okay. I think that's all of them. I think I killed all the Cybermen there. That was not easy, though. Uh, let me get a little further away. My bad, bro. My bad, homie. I didn't expect that. Okay, so. Raditz. Let's go. It's going down. You're gonna get killed, Raditz. I don't care, bro. I don't care if you're a Saiyan. I'm an Acrosian. And I'm black. And I'm dead. All right, let's grab our stuff real quick. And I think I need to go search for Bobbity. Because if I can find Bobbity, I think he gives me a Majin symbol and can possibly teach me some evil moves, which would be really good. And maybe I'll even set up a base temporarily by there because it'd be like the evil headquarters. So I'm gonna go look around for that. Wait, I think I finally see something. I don't know if this is Bobbity's house or what. I don't know what this is supposed to be, but I found something. Please be what I think it is. What, what is this? <gasps> Master Bobbity, let's go. Okay, I sense evil within you, my friend. Serve me and I'll grant you power beyond your imagination. Okay, what kind of key techniques? Just, just key blast. Bro, is that all you got? You look so dorky. Learn skills, jump, dash. All of these are really basic and I don't care, but subject yourself, please. Please, now what, what does that give me? Wait just a diddly darn minute. I have a symbol on my head now. Okay, I have the Majin symbol on my head, and if I was hit L, I can see it. 
right here. Oh, so I naturally have more stats now. That is so cool. That means I'm already stronger in my base. I got 100% energy release. And now if I go into my form, who knows how strong I am now? Let's actually figure this out. 400,000 power level. Something tells me I think we could kill Raditz now with the power of the Majin symbol. <laughs> oh, we're getting some heavy power-ups now. The only problem is he doesn't seem to be able to teach us a lot of techniques, which isn't good for us. I wonder where I could find some good techniques. All right, let's try the method of creating a technique because I think this is the only way we're going to be able to get a move until we get to King Kai's planet. So we got all sorts of different names here. We're just going to go with the Ufiusha Blast, whatever that's supposed to mean. We got Disc, Laser, Spiral, Large Blast, Barrage. Shield, Explosion, 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 Explosion. Okay. How about we go for a Large Blast type of move? No one to teach. Oh, I can teach someone. All right, how do I actually use this then? Okay. So it's charging up. Oh, and I can see the damage it does right here. This is pretty slow charge up time. But not bad. I don't think I can afford another move, can I? No, I can. All right, let's create a, like a laser. Oh, okay, I figured out how. It's pretty easy. Basically the same key. I can just scroll and it'll allow me to. So now I have a blast, which honestly looks a lot more fitting for Frieza. I'm not gonna lie. It doesn't do that much damage. Oh my god, okay. I should have got that a long time ago. It doesn't do that much damage in my base, but if I was to form up, it would do a lot more. I am very impressed right now. I think it's time we go back and we defeat Raditz. Okay, I think we're ready. I've made some preparations. Let's get, I got us to the right spot. Let's fight Raditz once again, and let's hope that we can actually win this time. We are absolutely cracked. If we cannot beat Raditz now, I don't know what to do, bro. All right, let's fly away. Get on my face, bro. Get on my face, get on my face. Okay. I didn't expect you to back off like that. But it doesn't matter, you still lost. Two other Zans will come and destroy you and this planet. Interesting, so I might just have to go grind some dinosaurs and then come back and then we can fight what seems to be more Cybermen. Oh, I gotta gather dinosaur meat anyways. Okay, well, I'm gonna go gather some dinosaur meat. And we'll kill some Cybermen. Okay, so I've done the preparations. I've finally gotten everything ready. Now I actually have to go to the biome where all the dinosaurs are. Which I didn't know. So I actually have to go right back to where I was. Which is going to be pretty weird. But you know what? Might as well just go ahead and get this over with. Okay, so here I am. I think this counts. Let's go ahead and eat this. Don't need that. We're at, 400 <laughs> We're at full power completely. So let's go ahead and give this a shot. Oh my gosh. Get ready. What the? I don't know what I just did there, but it's okay. It's time to use my laser. Ooh, I got him. Wait, wait, wait. This is a big blast. This should hit them all. This will be a good move. I can see a lot of their HP has been cut pretty good. At least this will save me from having to take a lot of damage flying all of them. That only hit one guy. Okay, so definitely use the other move. Got it. Okay, let's go ahead and put in some more of that TP. Constitution, why not? More HP. <laughs> I'm able to take more hits, might as well. Alright, so now I have enough. And should just be able to go to the next one. Oh boy. I have to kill Nappa and Vegeta at the same time. I will not let them eradicate her. It's time to do this. Okay, they do a lot more damage than the others. Oh, and it used up my meat. That's so messed up. It didn't tell me it was going to do that. I would have prepared more meat. This is not looking good for us, boys. I'm not going to lie. I was not warned that it would actually use up my dinosaur meat. I'm dead. Oh, I got to gather up some food and then I'm going to come back. I'm going to get my revenge. I can beat these guys. I just need food. I wasn't warned of this. I was not warned of this at all. Okay, guys. I'm finally back and I'm finally ready. I've gotten food. 
I've gotten some more TP. I'm not a whole lot stronger, but I mainly just got some food, and I'm ready to retry this. Because I think we can do it. Okay, let's back off. Let's heal. It's over 9,000. I just realized that. Okay, okay. Let's heal. Let's heal. No big deal. Oh, man. It's sending a big key blast. All right, heal. Bro, did they just heal too? Ain't no way. Okay, these guys are a lot stronger than I ever thought they'd be. Bro, how are y'all not dead yet? I will not give up. I got Trunks' theme song playing in the back of my head. I'm not giving up, bro. I did it! You low-class warrior, you haven't seen me for the last time. But did I ask? Because you just got bodied. Let's go, baby. It only took me a thousand dino meats to actually pull it off. Okay. Sand Saga, travel to Namek. If you want a greater challenge, you will get it there. Look at that little smiley face, bro. That's evil. Okay. Looks like it's about time to go to Namek. I still have my Master Staff. Is there anything else I need to do on Earth before I head to Namek? I can't think of anything, honestly. I think we've pretty much finished up what we need here for a while. Unless I have to come train in the Hyperbolic Time Chamber, I think we're pretty good. But I think it's time we do some Slice of Life stuff and we go build us a base. So let's get over there. Okay, here we are. Go on. Destinations. Where can I go? I don't want to go to Earth somewhere else oh okay so i can go to planet vegeta too what would i even do there i don't know okay we can go to namek i suppose i mean that is where i wanted to go in the first place and we're loading in and we are officially in namek it's just as beautiful as i thought it would be where's my spaceship where's my spaceship i know i gotta have a spaceship around here right i mean i am frieza and if they're going to have any structure, it's going to be my spaceship. So I have to find my spaceship. I know it's got to be here somewhere. Okay, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I've been flying for about an hour in real life time now. And I've yet to find the Frieza ship. I've been looking everywhere and I just can't seem to find it. Where, how do I pick this up? Okay, there we go. I've been looking everywhere and I just can't seem to find the Frieza ship. And I'm thinking that I might not be able to find it at all. I went very far. I looked all around spawn and then I just started going straight, hoping that maybe it'll spawn in. Uh, no, unfortunately, I did not find the ship. Maybe eventually I will and we can move, but for now, I think it's best we just start doing something because the days are ticking down. You know, I don't have a whole lot of time left and I feel like we should build a base. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna set up here and we're gonna have our minions do something on planet Namek of all places. I just wonder how this is gonna go because it is Namek after all. Where should we start? I kind of like this hill, but uh, maybe we could have a base that has a giant quarry in it. That just seems kind of cool to me. So let's just spawn in our minions as usual. I'm like starving now. Go and fix that. Oh, I got to get my energy release. I didn't even realize it went all the way out. I've been flying for so long, it's not even funny. And now they'll get to work on building a quarry where I want to have my base. Go, my minions! Now while they do this, I can start building me a tree farm where I can actually start reproducing these trees. That way I can um, start building a house out of this kind of wood. Okay, I've got me some wood. I don't know if this is going to drop what I'm hoping it'll drop, but we're about to find out because I have shears. Actually, now I think about it, I don't think shears makes it drop a sapling anyways. I can't remember, so I'm not even going to bother. I'm just going to let it do its own thing. Uh, we got some bushes now, I guess. I don't know why I would need that, but cool. Uh, I can turn that into oak wood planks, which I will. First, let's collect some of the resources uh, from our minions, because I think that would be good. Thank you. Okay, so now I can go back up here, and I can basically use this rocky dirt to go ahead and expand out. So now what I'm going to do... So I'm gonna do a very interesting design to say the least. Okay guys, 
I know a lot of time skips have happened near the end of the video, but it's for good reasons. Now, I was kind of running out of stuff I wanted to do for this episode because I plan on doing a part two. If this video does as well as I'm hoping it will, there will definitely be a 200 days within the next couple weeks, and I'm gonna put just as much effort and time into it, and it's gonna even have more content, such as me getting Kaioken, doing the Namek Saga. Who knows what's gonna come after that? I genuinely don't know, because I've never gotten past the Namek Saga in the past. So, I plan to make a 200 days as long as you guys can support this enough to get another 200 days, obviously. Now, what I will say is that since it's day 100, I want to fill you guys in on what I've been doing. I didn't build a ton because I realized I was going to need a lot of supplies to be able to continue building this base. And while I will do that, I think I'm going to surprise you guys with that in the next episode. Because it's going to take me forever to get all the supplies I need to build a proper base over here. I did make a little something and it has gotten kind of cool looking. But the main thing I did was I went and trained. And I did something just as cool. I unlocked another transformation. <laughs> I don't know what it's going to look like, but uh, I unlocked another transformation. This is what my stats are looking like at day 100. I'm level 91. This is what my stats look like in a form. And I've officially got another transformation. I don't know what this is going to look like, but we're going to figure it out together. And last time it gave me a transformation, so maybe this time it will as well. If not, maybe it's just an in-between stage before I get to another one. If that's the case, we're screwed. Uh, this day 100, I'm not going to have a new form. So maybe that's all it does. Maybe I just, I have to level it up again once or twice before I unlock another form. I can almost guarantee if I level this up again, I'm going to get a new form. But I guess I didn't get one this time. Even though I leveled it up, I still just wasn't enough. Oh well, unfortunate, but it is what it is. Now, I could go ahead and do this one mission. And I suppose I will, because it is day 100. Woo, baby! Okay, let me just... Uh-huh. Oh, y'all getting wrecked right now. This reminds me of when they invaded Earth, like Mecha Frieza did. And I just remember Trunks killing all of them. That was insane. And they're officially all dead. Frieza's soldiers are no more, and I've probably gained thousands of TP from that. So, yeah. Looking pretty good, I'd say. Look at that. I could just get so many stats so quickly now. Uh, for the sake of evil... Boom. Now I can just keep continuing this, but I'm not going to do that because I think it's time we end off this episode. Because this has been a long 100 days. We have accomplished a lot. Look at us. We got our battle armor. We used to have the Majin symbol. I know we don't have that anymore, but I think it's because we're on Namek. If we go back to Earth, we'll have the Majin symbol again. Uh, I got a space pod. We got the master staff. But speaking of which, our minions have been hard at work down here. And they have went far. Now there are some things that they have missed. But that's okay, because uh, I can just go back and do what they've missed. But they've went really far, and they're still going. You can't see them, but they're still mining, and that's what's crazy. So essentially, uh, we've had a lot of progress. We've done a lot, not including what we have left on Earth. We summoned Shinron. We defeated whole different sagas. We went to the other world. Unfortunately, we didn't get to go through Snake Way, but it's okay. That's going to happen in the next 100 days video. Uh, I do want to make a 200 days, so I hope that you guys will support this. Just make sure to drop a like, you know, subscribe, leave a comment. That's going to be it for this 100 days. Thank you for accompanying me on this journey, and I'm going to see you guys in the next 100 days video. Fusion Timmy, signing off.